All right, I put the board in the uh, in the box here. I know the high voltage supply or the Z the Z axis or some, something's wrong. There's a, there's a missing uh, part, and uh, so that's not going to work. But I wanted to see if the power supply could power up the rest of the unit, or we would get some kind of failure. Maybe something else shorted out and it blew up the power supply. Right? I don't know. And so um, I've got my test points here, and yeah, you can see that. So let's turn it on. And we get uh, five volts on that test point. We get, uh, ah, shaking today. We get minus 12 on that one, and we get plus 12 on that one. So our power supplies are great and uh, holding up. So, uh, so does the thing do anything? All right. Well, one of the things it does, can you see over there? Yeah, let me move the camera a bit. All right, on the front panel is the calibrator, and I can hook my scope up to the calibrator over there, and you can see that we are getting a square wave out, so that works. <laughs> All right, let me show you the front panel, show you what else might sort of kind of, kind of work. All right, so the power light comes on, the illumination you can't really see that, but the illumination works. There's some uh, incandescent bulbs here that lights up the radical. Uh, the beam find does not work, and there's no sweep. But if I take a look at the trigger light, is that going to be? I think you need to be lower. Yeah, now you can see it. So when I flip the trigger over here. I don't know if you can see that, but that flashes. So the trigger circuit, yeah, trigger circuit is working. So that's good news. Um, other lights work like 200 megahertz bandwidth limit, that LED lights. Uh, and that's about it so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't get any sweep yet, but I think I know why yet. Or might be more than that, but at least that's the next thing I need to do before we play with it any longer. Um, but uh, power supply is good. Things work. Uh, circuits seem to be working. The calibrator works. And the, um, the trigger light triggers when, uh, when it sees a, a change in the uh, trigger level. So that all sounds very encouraging. Um, so we will just have to wait for, for that high voltage... Uh, transistor to come in and I can pop that in there and see if that helps at all and we'll go from there All right, well, we can do a couple things here while we're waiting for the high voltage things. Uh, we have a sweep output and we have a um, Channel one output, okay, so let's take a look at the sweep output. We'll uh, connect this and uh, Take a look at it on the scope over here and there we go. We go sweep. I'm going to change the uh, horizontal uh, time base of the oscilloscope, and we can see that our ramp changes. So this is the horizontal sweep of the uh, of the oscilloscope, slow to fast. So that's working very good. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take a look at the uh, channel one output and. See if we can't look at anything. Well, here's the gate. Uh, channel one gate is uh, is that. But here's the channel one output. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up an oscilloscope probe to channel one. There we go. Uh, I have it uh, regular oscilloscope probe hooked up. And. Uh, I'd say, uh, yeah, there's our calibrator output. So pretty cool. That's the uh, two volt output. Let's look at the 200 millivolt output. Yeah, so they both work fine. All right, so we know that our, uh, and I can change the gain. I can change the gain on, there we go. Change the gain on channel one. So uh, channel one works. Uh, not sure about channel two, but probably. Uh, the sweep works. So I think uh, most everything is working on this thing except for getting a picture on the screen. 
Um, so yeah, uh, we're looking good. And just to show, uh, I've got a, a scope probe going to the output of the calibrator and going into, uh, into the oscilloscope. So there you go. All right, here's the high voltage section, 20,000 20, volts, 20 kilovolts. That's a lot. But there's a test point down here that's marked minus, minus 1850. So I can measure that, minus 1850. So I'll put my uh, uh, meter on it. So I have a nice high voltage meter here. This goes to 6,000 volts. And uh, so let's, uh, let's turn it on and boom, there we go. So here's 2,000 volts. So we're measuring about 18. So I'd say that's probably pretty good. There's a high voltage adjust. I guess we could tweak that up a bit. High voltage adjust, why not? <laughs> why not, we're here. Uh, it was a little bit low. Let's see if we can't boost it up some. Yep, there's 18. 1850 is about there. So, uh, there's a bit of parallax probably from where you're looking, but uh, yeah, it's probably probably good now. So, all right, <laughs> uh, that's looking good too.